Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So I busted my ass in the yard today. It's time to crack open one of these. Natural ice. So I picked up this little feller with a recent Walmart purchase. I think I paid $2.22 for it, if I remember correctly, somewhere in that range. So it's fairly cheap. And it's really nice of Anheuser-Busch to make all these drive home size cans. You know, that way, when you don't want to pick up a whole full pack, but, or a case, you can just get this for next to nothing. Now, I should set this up. I've had naturalized before, but it's been years ago. Probably, I probably haven't had one since I was like 19, so like 25 or so years ago. And I just had a bad experience, but in retrospect, it was probably less the naturalized than the whole combination of everything that, um, that I ingested that night. I had several natural ices and just wasn't quite drunk enough and so I had some really cheap rum I think it was that a friend of mine picked up while he was in the Caribbean like, like a two dollar bottle of rum so it wasn't high quality. Mixed that with some soda and finished that off and then when I got the munchies decided to eat some of those little chocolate gym donuts you know the little like completely covered in chocolate donuts. Yeah so it was just a bad combination of things, but I've not touched natural ice since. Or rum for that matter. All right, enough backstory. Let's crack this little feller open. All right, so I'm using the, the Schmitty glass, the Navy reunion glass again. So I needed something big enough to hold all this beer and actually it couldn't even take the whole can but I got pretty close. All right, don't worry if you see some smoke rolling by. I've got a Ninja wood fire smoker thing like right here. So, and uh, yeah, it's doing its thing. I'll uh, it, end the video with a little clip of that. All right, anyway. I don't know, like it, it smells like generic beer, which, I mean, it is. It's natural ice. It's not meant to be high quality. But yeah, I mean, I can't really pick out any, any distinctive things other than it just, it smells like beer, so. There's only one thing left to do. Cheers. And it tastes pretty much like beer. Um, it's a typical American lager. There's subtle sweetness, probably from a corn adjunct. Um, although I kind of remember Natty Ice back in the 90s having like a, a metal, metallic taste, kind of, I assumed was product of the, the can. So, um, I'm not picking any of that up, just a very generic run-of-the-mill beer. Um, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, I guess. I've been avoiding it for years for no reason, but at the same time, there's no good reason to... Excuse me, I've had a couple of sips and I got the bubbles already. I do apologize. So yeah, um, I don't... I guess there's no good reason to ever buy natural ice other than it's cheap, but there are equally as cheap beers that taste just as good. Um, I definitely would prefer Hams or Pabst over this one, but those are probably actually cheaper than a case of Pabst Ice. I know, or nat, Natty Ice, my apologies. Whew, having some flashbacks to high school. <laughs> Drank a lot of Pabst and Natty Ice back then, so yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I would take either of those old style Coors Banquet, a lot of those over a Natty Ice, and Pabst and Hams are both cheaper. I think I pay, paid $15.88 for a 30-pack of Hams. Um, I think it's up to $17.88 for a 30-pack of Pabst. But I want to say that like Natty Light runs like $19.99. So I bet a 30-pack of of Natty Ice probably runs that too. But yeah, I don't know what else I can say about it other than 
it's a serviceable beer. It'll do in a pinch. Of course, back in high school, we drank the ice beer because it's 5.9. It's it's way stronger. So now it kind of just seems like a session beer. All right. Well, enough rambling. Um, if you liked what you saw, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Malta Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely. So this is my Ninja Woodfire pellet smoker. It's a little electric smoker. And it's not terribly big, but it, it works for what I need it to do. Let's take a look inside. Some bacon-wrapped chicken going on there. Cheers.